right, it's time to fill some bottles. Looks like we got several air tanks and we've got a nitrox bottle here that needs to be filled. But the question of the day is, are we gonna fill it via the nitrox stick or are we gonna partial pressure blend? I think today we will partial pressure blend What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory School Memory. And if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit that little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I'm down here in our compressor room. As you can see, I've got a ton of tanks here that I've been filling today. I've got several more air tanks that I've got to fill. And then of course, I've got a nitrox bottle right here that I'm gonna be filling for a customer. And I've made plenty of videos in the past about how we calculate how much nitrox we need. And I even showed you how we fill nitrox bottles. But when I did that, I showed you how we did it with our nitrox stick. What I've never showed you before in any videos is how do we do it via partial pressure blending. And that's exactly what we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna partial pressure a blend of nitrox here for a customer and show you just how easy it is and even talk about why we choose to do it this way versus using the stick here on the wall. All right, the first thing that we do guys before we fill any cylinder, whether it's air or nitrox, is we inspect the cylinder and we make sure that it's gonna be capable to be filled. Now this is a brand new cylinder that the customer just purchased, so the hydro is good on it, the viz is good on it, but I do notice that there's no nitrox sticker. Did you actually know that it's a myth that it has to be marked with a nitrox sticker to put nitrox in it? You know, when we look at a deco bottle, which obviously is gonna be nitrox or a higher blend of O2, I don't see any nitrox there. So in this case, this cylinder does not have to have a nitrox sticker, just kind of like that cylinder there does. What it does have to have though, is an inspection sticker that tell me, or it tells me what I can put in it. Is this gonna be air only up to 40%? Or in this case, it is stamped out for partial pressure blending nitrox up to 100%, which would be pure oxygen because in partial pressure blending, that's what we're actually putting in here. So no, it does not have to have that big green yellow sticker, but it does have to be rated. Sticker also lets me know that this cylinder has been O2 cleaned, uh, so it will be safe for partial pressure blending. So with that being said, let me show you how easy it is. All right, guys, in the past, I've showed you several different videos of the math and how we calculate the right partial pressures of O2 to get whatever blend we need. But all I'm going to show you in this video is a computer program that I use to calculate it. I'm going to insert my starting pressure and my ending pressure and, of course, how much O2 I'm going to start with and what I want to end with. In this case, I'm starting with a tank that is on zero, so I'm going to put starting pressure zero. My ending pressure is going to be the working pressure of 3,000 PSI. Of course, I'm going to be working with pure 100% oxygen oxygen to begin with and I want my ending blend to be 32 percent. Of course the program here tells me I need to start with 402 psi of oxygen and then, then as I add 2598 psi of air I will actually get the blend of nitrox that I need which the customer wants 32 percent. All right so now that we've got our bottle hooked up here we've tested the bottle or we inspected it make sure that we could put O2 in it we know that it's O2 clean we can actually put pure 100% O2 in. We also did the math and we see that we need around that 402 PSI of O2 to get it up to 32%. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we are going to turn our O2 on slowly, okay? And I have two O2 systems. I have one that goes to our stick and then I also have one that goes over to our, um, to our booster here, which is gonna come through into the cylinder itself. So I'm gonna slowly turn this on. And I'm just gonna go slow with it. And we're gonna let that run all the way up to the pressure that we need it, which in this case was 402 PSI of O2. So we're gonna let that run through. All right, guys, so it looks like we're just about there. I need to add just a little bit more O2 to the system here. Crank it up just a little bit. All right, and it should settle out at about 402. So we're going to shut the system down. And, of course, we are going to go ahead and cut our O2 off. 
And as we can see, it has settled down to about 402 PSI. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bottle transferred over to our fill station. And we're gonna add air directly on top of that and get it up to the 32% nitrox. All right, now that we've got it transferred over, we can just fill it with plain old 21% and it's gonna mix with the 402 PSI that we've already got in there. And that should blend us up to the 3000. So let's go ahead and get it started here and anytime you deal with oxygen you always want to have a very very slow fill rate for a couple reasons one you want to make sure that the bottle is not overheating and since as uh, pressure builds up so does heat or as heat builds up so does pressure and you can actually get a different mix than what you want when you partial pressure blend if you feel too fast so we're going to go really really slow with this we're going to blend it all the way up to 3000 psi we're going to set let it set for a little bit, let it cool, and then we'll come back and top it off to get that exact blend that we want. And then of course we'll test it and get it back to the customer. All right guys, so now that the bottle's filled, all that we have left to do of course is analyze it. And of course we need to label the sticker with what the blend is. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my analyzer here in just a second and I'm gonna stick it up to the valve. I'm gonna barely crack that valve open and I'm gonna let it read the pressure inside the cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this valve cracked. So it's cracked there. I'm gonna take my analyzer, I'm gonna stick it up against it. And it's gonna show me that the particular nitrox blend I'm working with here is, of course, 32%, okay? So now I can shut the valve off and of course we can label the cylinder. Now, like I said, I am going to allow this cylinder time to cool and then I can reanalyze it, but I feel pretty confident in my measurements here. So let's go ahead and put today's date so today is 10, 11. Yeah, by the time you guys are seeing this video, it is way outside of uh, the time I've made it. But today is October 11th. The mix is 32%. And then of course the pressure is 3000 PSI. And of course the max depth for 32%. If you don't know how to calculate that, of course we've got a video, I'll link it down in the description and I'll link it somewhere up here too for you. But the max depth for 32% is 111 feet. And then of course, I'm gonna put that I was the one that filled it. And then when my customer comes to pick it up, they will reanalyze it of course, and then they will put their signature on as well. But just like that, we have successfully partial pressured blend a, uh, a blend of nitrox. All right guys, why partial pressure blending? Why would I wanna mix oxygen straight into the cylinder and then pump air into it versus just running through a stick where it's doing it all at once? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, with partial pressure blending, I can go all the way up to 100%. You see, my compressor will only allow me to run 40% through the system itself. So with using the stick, I can only go up to 40%. But with partial pressure blending, I can go all the way up to 100% without running the risk of blowing up my compressor or harming me in the process too. Now with partial pressure blending, typically we do run the bottles down to zero, which means we empty the bottle first, then we put O2 in it. However, I can mix it while there's still oxygen in. I can just simply do the calculation and tell me how much more oxygen to add to the system. But then again, if partial pressure blending is easier and quicker, why would I ever need the stick? Well, you see with a stick, I can do mass bottles. Let's say all these bottles have to be up to 32%. I can of course hook that to my fill station and I can pump the 32% into multiple bottles at once. So it really depends on what I'm doing. And there's other pros and cons here as well. And if you're interested in a course that's gonna teach you about partial pressure blending, continuous blending, check out the SSI XR gas blender course. It's a great course that's gonna uh, fill you full of knowledge on how gas blending actually works. And of course we do the uh, nitrox version and the trimix version as well. But that's just some of the pros and cons to, uh, say, continuous blending through a stick or partial pressure blending with itself. All right, guys, that's how easy partial pressure blending is. It's not a difficult process. It's just kind of a two-stage process. You must first put O2 into your bottle, and then, of course, you got to put air on top of that. But I've got several other air cylinders that I need to get filled today, so we're going to hop off here and do that. But if you got any questions on anything to do with nitrox or O2, drop me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer it the best you can. There will be a series of videos linked down below that if you want to learn more about partial pressure blending, gas calculation, um, gas management, things like that, or if you just want to learn how 
The gas blender, of course, works as well. Check out all the videos down below, and I think you'll find them very interesting as well. We've got a series of videos on how we calculate nitrox, how we blend nitrox, how we do partial pressure blending versus doing... Um, filling through the stick and i really think that you'll find those videos very helpful but that's going to be it for today guys if you liked the video give me a big thumbs up definitely share it as well until our next video take care god bless and i'll see you in the next one